This episode of The Modern Rogue brought to you by Fetch Rewards. Go ahead, click that link in the description below. Use promo code ROGUE, that's R-O-G-U-E, to sign up, scan your first receipt, and get 2,000 points right off the bat. You're welcome. All right, how do you guys prefer to make your hot dogs? I've been doing this my whole life. My heart and soul is in charcoal. Brian? Step one, three and a half minutes. Then mm -hmm. the mac and cheese is done. Mm -hmm. Then you take the cold hot dog, because the mac and cheese is too hot, you cut it up into pieces, Ooh. and then it cools down the mac and cheese, kind of mix it around, and then it's about right. That's pretty good, that's pretty good. Number three. <laughs> Extra chili. Equal valid. Der Wiener the schnitzel. Board. Yeah, 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 yeah. For life. So is this like the Coke versus Pepsi battle of the ages? Like, why does anybody care between gas and charcoal? There's maybe two to three big deciding factors, okay? First and foremost, for me, is flavor. Taste. Yeah. We're cooking because we want to eat good food, right? Mm-hmm. You it's know? Is there a big difference between the two in taste? I think so. Okay, really. all right. Big difference. Okay. Man, when you go to a cookout and, and you eat a burger off of a charcoal grill, that's, you're tasting what you expect, mm. okay? You go to a gas grill, now where that may be a good bit faster, maybe a little bit more consistency, okay? okay? You know that, hey man, you just click a button, you got flame over the entire surface. Yeah, nice even heat. For the mm -hmm. most part, yeah, even yeah. heat, you know? Uh, you don't have to play with fire too much. But, you know, a wise man once said, taste the meat, not the heat. That was a pro propane a argument. Propane. Pro he, propane. He was a propane in the ass <laughs> pro with a small urethra. His name was George Washington. What's happening? <laughs> the question is, um, do you want the smoky flavor from uh, the charcoal versus the quote unquote pure heat from uh, propane or gas? Ah, uh, you know, you, you, you maybe almost throw me off when you say pure heat. Technically, it's infrared, okay? It's infrared heat. Right. Now, depending on if your gas grill has flame tamers or not. What is a flame tamer? Is there, and is there one in here? Yes. That's a flame tamer. Yes, right here. So. You got it's shiny. Okay, you see, there's your burner here. Your okay. tube. Oh, got it. Yeah. So the gas comes out mm -hmm. and the heat gets dispersed over the uh, uh, the metal. It comes over here. So it is more consistent heat. And the, so the flames aren't directly contacting the meat. Correct. With the flames heating up, these flame tamers. Okay, you may see like when metal heats up, it turns red. Yep. That's still infrared heat. So depending on what type of gas grill you have, mm -hmm. look, this can this can get complicated. The argument between gas and charcoal. Yeah. That's why I like to start off. The most important is taste, is flavor. Oh, uh, what's the best kind of hot dog? The kind you like to eat. Yep, yeah. yep, yep, fair enough. Exactly, so uh, again, my heart and soul lies in charcoal, but there's a lot of uh, convenience factor that comes into gas cooking. You turn your mm -hmm. gas on, you click some knobs, and you got heat. Okay? Yeah. In the matter of mm -hmm. maybe 10 to 15 minutes, your grill's preheated You're and ready. You're in hot dog town. You're in hot dog town. You're ready to go. You can sear steak, burgers. I, I wouldn't suggest anything uh, gas grill for like smoking mm -hmm. or anything like that. Now, when you go to charcoal, that's where you change, man. You get your it's you more get your, of a ritual. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. And, and especially if you like playing with fire. This is. Click a button, you have heat. What, uh, three minutes later, you got hot dogs on the grill. This one, what, you, you gotta get it burning, you have to wait, you have to decide it's time. How, how much you time are you You gotta let your charcoal about? heat, let it ash over a little bit, then it's perfect to go, then you're ready. But man, is it worth it for that flavor? I think it is. Okay, well, we have to find out now. I was about to say, that, that yeah. sounds like a blind taste So I've got a test. bunch of burgers to cook for you. We're going to do on each okay. and hot dogs. We'll just taste that, man. Do we turn around and cover our eyes now? <laughs> I'm going to need you to go over there so you don't see, okay? Okay, all right, yeah. Done. Yeah. done. Let me do, do my job. Go sit down while you make hot dogs and burgers <laughs> for us? Yeah, I got you. I got it. I'm good at that part.
Let's bring the guys in. All I'm right. I'm ready for you guys to taste this. First impression, honestly, can't tell which is which. And now that was my goal. I worked hard for that now to make sure that they looked as identical as I could get them. Okay. I think that's what uh, All right, makes so sense. This is A. Yep. I don't know what A Plate is. Plate A. And I'm sure it's decent. All right, A, yeah. I mean, number one is great. Of course it's great. Mm -hmm. All right, hamburger on, this is beef. Mm. Yep, 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 try B. Hmm. Now, I just noticed that both of you gentlemen did not even swallow your previous bite mm. before you took that bite. I, we're True. just hungry. Yeah. I'm, not a yeah. meat, I'm not a meat sommelier. Um, <laughs> all right, B, definitely, Smelled smokier. I mean, again, they're both great. Really? But B Point smells one. smokier to me, and I want to say that B is probably charcoal. I feel like it's yeah. 1984, yep. and it's the Pepsi Challenge. Yep, yep, I agree with that. I agree. B is certainly cooked more, which I like, but I don't know whether or not, you know, it's yeah. easier to overcook with, you sure. know, gas or charcoal. Sure. I think I'm gonna double down. I think B is smoky and delicious, and I'm gonna guess is charcoal. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bother to try A on this, but. Okay, there we go. I'll say this much. The difference is so small that anybody who like, like wants to get in a fist fight over it is mm -hmm. dumb. Sure. Because they're both good. Now we're talking about hot dogs or, or hot dogs and hamburgers? Both. Full stop. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. The bees are charcoal and superior, but by a slim margin. I, I think that's what... Is that, is that where you're at? I think so. Okay. By a very slim margin. I think, I think that's where I'm at okay. as well. You're 100% correct. Yes! I like, One. I like yes! the part. I like, okay, that was a crime. <laughs> Sorry. Now, I was... now the ants get to enjoy it and you don't. You're totally right. Okay, now what we're doing is we're working with small items here. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay? So you're gonna have a small difference. Just take into consideration things uh, like brisket, uh, pulled pork, ribs, uh, whole chickens, mm -hmm. you know. It's gonna be a little bit more difficult to do on a gas grill yeah. than a charcoal grill. The more there is to heat, the <laughs> The doper the bean. Yeah, <laughs> I don't. Like, I, I can give I, a master class in <laughs> rhyming things no. with that ass. <laughs> but you guys like the charcoal better, right? I, 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 I guess so. Yeah. Like, like, like yeah. we, we correctly yeah. identified it. So there is a definite taste difference between mm -hmm. gas versus uh, charcoal. Mm -hmm. If you want a blast, go with gas. Ooh. If you want pure gold, go with charcoal. Love it. There it is. I like that. Yeah, you guys can use like that. that. BarbecueGuys.com. <laughs> Randy, tell us where we can find more of these fat rhymes. Yeah, man. Ah! <laughs> oh, <laughs> rot at home. <laughs> so, hey, look, uh, BarbecueGuys.com. Uh, type in BBQGuys.com. Uh, we have tons of product knowledge, recipes. Man, you can call us up. Basically, ask us anything you want to know about grills or even food. I'm serious. Or even food. Or even food. I mean it. Go to our YouTube channel, BBQ Guys. Uh, they have tons of uh, recipes, uh, more product videos, all kinds of informative, uh, informative stuff. No, no, no. Uh, stuff. I like informative. <laughs> yeah. We're going to stick to that one. That's the British pronunciation. This yeah, is yeah, yeah. Like uh, aluminium. So you're coming back, what, next month? Yeah, just next week? Here. You're just going to live here? Yeah. Hip, hip, hooray for our meat sommelier. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> He's a wizard. There you go. All right, guys, Fetch Rewards makes it super easy to get your benefits from buying your food you're gonna buy anyway. Every time you buy groceries, go ahead and snap that receipt. You earn points that you get to splurge and spend on yourself. Go ahead, order some local takeout. Get yourself some new accoutrement so you look good and feel good. But the point is, you're buying the stuff anyway, and they make it super easy to get those rewards from your receipt. Some of the other guys make you like get the barcode or whatever, not with Fetch Rewards. Just snap a picture of that receipt and you get the points. As a matter of fact, if you click on the link below, use promo code ROGUE, that's R-O-G-U-E, your first receipt you snap, you will get 2,000 points right off the bat. Thanks to our friends over at Fetch Rewards. Now you just gotta put in the comments what awesome stuff you're spending them points on.
I want to dabble just a tad bit on uh, on how you say that it's uh, kind of a very small difference, okay? Mm -hmm. okay? All right, now what we're doing is we're working with small items here, mm -hmm. right? Okay? So you're gonna have a small difference. You're saying we have small wieners. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, no, no. We, yeah. we, heard, we heard it loud and clear, <laughs> man. <laughs>